to a treasure trove of species from the microscopic to the gargantuan as one particular gem, the blue fin tuna. It has been and remains the ultimate fish, designed to outcast the rest from the competition. It travels continuously. It is fished in nearly every deep blue wild ocean and sea on the planet. Their coloring, metallic. It was really, really informational. I learned everything from, you know, the way small, small family-run businesses capture the bluefin tuna to the way bigger fishing companies um, conduct their business and fatten them up and um, the innovative ways that we're keeping bluefin tuna and farming them. And yeah, I, I just learned so much from this film. Um, the footage that they had was also very vast. Um, just tons and tons of footage. I thought the narration was really smooth, easy to follow. Um, nice. He was nice to listen to. Um, and yeah, I, I appreciated the message of this film of the importance of the bluefin tuna, not just to sushi bars, but to the ecosystem and to the health of their environment. You know, the bluefin tuna population being a measure of how the ecosystem of the oceans are doing and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think what really shown in this film was just the way that they were able to convey so much information about these bluefin tuna in an interesting and compelling way um, with the narration, the music, the footage all coming together to create an engaging film about these fish um, and how they contribute to our lives and how important they are to the ecosystem. This had some wonderful underwater cinematography. I mean, the above water cinematography was fantastic too, but the clarity of the underwater cinematography was great. Um, I loved the VO. I thought it was a smart choice to have him as um, your narrator because he made things very clear and he had great pacing. It was really educational to find out everything that the fishermen need and kind of what they go through when they go out during the season to catch bluefin tuna. So, I mean, this was just wild. Fascinating subject matter. I never knew, one, how big tuna is. I heard it was big, but I didn't know how big it is and how much, how important it is and all the different ways, like the whole process. It felt like a, a well-made, how it's made episode kind of, where it's like going into the details and the process and you're like, wow, I never thought about that. I never thought about that. That's fascinating. And like, I think it delivered on that. Um, I thought the shots were dope. Um, I really liked the narration um, as far as like the writing of it. It felt like it felt like on the par with either like um, how it's made or like like a nature documentary where it's like carried by the narration a lot. And it's a play by play of a life of a fishman with a narrative VO accompanied with this B roll to show a sort of this day in the life. Um, it doesn't offer, though, the point of view from any of the particular fishermen that are featured, any talking head energies or anything. So we are very much dependent on the VO to tell the story. Um, it is very interesting to see the process. And I was actually very interested to see some of the visuals that came out of the fish. I would not have expected them to be so large, but it just shows how far we are removed from where our food comes from versus how we see our food um, when we purchase it. This was really, really fascinating. And I really enjoyed it. I, like I said, I learned a lot that I wasn't expecting to, which I really, really liked. And then I thought it was educational and interesting and they kept it intriguing throughout the entire time. They kept it where they, you know, kept the, uh, kind of, they followed a, a storyline as they're giving all this information, which I think that when you're doing, especially a very informative documentary, is important to have something that the audience can also kind of track a time frame of some kind that they can kind of keep with. Um, that way they don't just get kind of inundated with all the information and get kind of too bogged down and it, you know, doesn't keep their attention as well. But I think that they did a really great job of keeping it really interest interesting to the audience as well as giving them all this great information. 